news. Um, good morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is where y'all are. I am Shirase. Today we are going to be playing Nancy Drew, White Wolf of Icicle, uh, Nancy Drew and the White Wolf of Icicle Creek, I believe. Yeah. Um, I kind of tried to start it and then it didn't work. And so, yeah, we're going to be trying to do it again. <laughs> So that we can see the entire cutscene, if you will. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Let's, let's play. Nancy Drew, the White Wolf of Icicle Creek. Uh, why am I not going on the other side? Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Since you can tell a lot about a person by where he or she lives, I thought I'd introduce myself by showing you my room. As you can see, I keep it pretty neat. Of course, I don't spend that much time in here. <laughs> I always seem to be off solving mysteries. But anyway, what is this? here's my center of operation. What is this? My desk. What's this from? Go ahead and poke around. If you um, want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery-solving business. And be sure to check out my scratches. a lie. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. These not oh, where I am. Pretty Might be where you are, but and the time is really scary. I don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. <laughs> and whatever you do, <laughs> I don't think he worries enough. Leave called Case File. That will tell you all Honestly, about the Honestly, if you worried anymore, though, I would be worried if you think about you're ready myself. to dive into that mystery, just click on the... Scrapbook. Let's see. These are all the other ones that happened before it. Um, I don't have any of these games yet, or else I would play them. We're just going to be playing them as we go along, though. I might go back to them. Eh, whatever. What's new? Moving around, finding clues, inventory icons, talking to people, alarm clock, miscellaneous. <sighs> <sighs> Case file. Current assignment. Head to the Icicle Creek Lodge, a small guest lodge deep in the Canadian Rockies of Alberta, Canada, and try to figure out why so many accidents have been happening there. The woman who runs the lodge, Chantal Mo Moik, called me out of the blue saying that Bet and Ed Raleigh from Shadow Ranch had recommended me. She sounded so desperate that I couldn't refuse. She said that she was on her way to Edmonton to meet with her lawyers, so her handyman, Ollie Randall, will pick me up at the airport. She told me it's been really cold and snowy there, and that I should pack accordingly, and then she said something about a wolf. The connection was getting really bad, and I could barely hear her, but I'm pretty sure she used the word prowling, or was it howling, along with dangerous and be careful. Accidents are one thing, but wild animals, I hope I know what I'm getting into. Honestly, Nancy, I don't think you ever do know what you're getting into. Well, let's go. I'm an idiot, okay? I'm just gonna come out and say it right now. I'm an idiot. Even if I've played this one before, I always choose Junior. Because, um, I'm an idiot. And so I will quite literally just, um get so lost and distracted and forget that I will quite literally have to look up a walkthrough or go through everywhere just trying to find out where this one piece of the puzzle fits. I'm gonna try to not do any walkthroughs, but no promises. But either way, we're doing Junior. When Chantal told me you were just a young thing, well, I thought she was pulling my leg. But you're not much older than my little girl, Freddie. Well, if one of the people at the lodge is to blame for all those accidents, Chantal thinks somebody like me has a better chance of figuring out who it is than somebody more, you know, hard-nosed. Chantal has a bad habit of making up her mind without thinking things clear through. But no need for you to tell her I said that, of course. Is she still in Edmonton? Free, so insurance company's giving her and her lawyers a real hard time. Left Ron and the lodge up to me. Which is why I'm not real crazy about the idea of having somebody new underfoot, especially something else happens. I won't be underfoot, Mr. Randall, and I may be young, but I'm no novice when it comes to solving mysteries. We're here, 
so you need to prove yourself soon enough. Ooh, the wolf. <laughs> well, now, what was that? Kaboom. <laughs> Explosion. Art is an explosion. No, ma'am. Not everyone here at the lodge is accounted for. That's where Elsa and Becky have been living. Guess it was a good thing they quit after all. Elsa was my maid and Becky was my cook. Does the sheriff have any idea why the bunkhouse exploded? He said he'd know more after the lab was done running tests on the debris he collected. He did say the blast was pretty powerful. One of his deputies found the knob to the back door clear out on the highway. Yeah, sure no promises about the fast man, part. <laughs> My dad runs a whole chain of resorts, Ollie. If you think I'm going to admit to him that I can't handle running just one, guess again. Well, you know, Ollie, if you think that maybe I'd just see your new maid. You want to be your new maid? That will give me access to everyone's room, and I can question people without making them overly suspicious. Oh, yeah! That's an excellent idea! All right, you're my new maid. In fact, you're my new cook, too! Your cook? Well, that way, Ollie can stop pretending he can even read a recipe, let alone follow one. You'll have even more excuses to talk to the guests, and I won't have to pay anyone! Well, I think that's a fine idea, ma'am. Now, we're not taking <laughs> Remember that? We heard um, a howl last night, just before the bunkhouse. Remember blew that up. um, that trend about the Yanni or Laurel noise? Did anyone else hear both? I put his number on the phone there at the lodge. I could, I could hear both. It was weird. I gotta go. My lawyer's here. Good luck, you guys, and keep me posted. Lawyers. Tino Balducci. Who? I'll get you a master key and leave it in your room. If you need anything else, I'll be in the basement. The basement. Every time anyone's in the basement, it always ends bad. Why do people always hang out in basements anyways? In video games, they always seem to hang out in the basement. And while it's an, a good place to look, it's also a bad place to look. Because that's where all the bad things happen in the horror movies. All right, re-employee instructions. Maid duties, daily cleaning, pick up laundry bag at the front desk available after 5.45 a.m. Enter and clean only those rooms displaying the housekeeping sign, make the bed, remove used towels and washcloths, all rooms displaying the housekeeping sign must be cleaned no later than noon. When finished, drop all the laundry bag down the chute at the top of the stairs by the restaurant. Skating pond maintenance. Oh, looks like I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything while I'm here. I don't have a feeling this is going to be Minesweeper. Or something that's going to be extremely difficult. Maybe not Minesweeper, but still annoyingly difficult. Minesweeper. Got it. Minesweeper. I always support all avalanches to the Avalanche Patrol. Avalanches. All employees should remember that avalanches are a constant danger in this area. To avoid triggering an avalanche, do not make loud noises when in the backcountry. Always wear snowshoes when walking on snow that's potentially unstable. Report to Avalanche Patrol. 403-555-2006. Criminal activity. Report any and all cr criminal activity to Sheriff Mahi mm Mahican? Alright. Sauna. Employees should remember that heat and moisture sometimes cause the door in the sauna to stick and should periodically check to make sure no guests are stuck inside. Cooking. Breakfast is served from 7 to 8. 
Lunch is served from noon to one. Dinner is served from six to seven. For food preparation, please consult manual in the kitchen. All right. Can I just... I can't. <laughs> teddy bear. If I could pet the teddy bear, I would. This must be the key all he said he'd leave for me. Pish, pish. And this must be a list of which guest is in what room. That'll come in handy. Kala, kala, kala. <laughs> pish, pish. Ina. Chinook. Hola, oh, Lee. Kala, 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 kala. Quell, quell. <laughs> okay. Um. Wop. I can't open that yet. Wop. Who's in Chinook? I wasn't honestly paying attention. I don't pay attention much. Chinook is vacant. Alright. Colors. Colors are gonna mean something, aren't they? I mean, it's not just vacant, dormant. Vacant, angry, peaceful, dormant. <laughs> Alright. Can't use a key. I should just go get the bag. That's the wrong way, I think. Uh, stairs. Found it. And they said the bag's over here. Ooh, paper. Chantal, this is my formal notice of resignation. Please call me at 555-2383 if you expect any delay with the check. Elsa. Hmm. Please tell me the notes thing is... Taskless. Phone numbers. Alright, I do have phone numbers. Ned. <laughs> Avalanche Patrol. Elsa. Let it go. Let it go. Thunder bag. Looks like Elsa was having major boyfriend problems. Dear Elsa, this time when I read your letter saying you weren't coming, I didn't get sad. I got mad. I can't believe you think working as a stupid maid at some stupid lodge for some stupid lady whose name I can't even pronounce is more important than spending time with me. If I didn't love you so much, I'd tell you to take a flying leap. But since I love you more than anything, I'll just have to do something else. Like maybe take your precious collection of troll dolls out of the box you stored in my garage and dump them down the disposal. Or maybe I'll sell them on eBay for a nickel apiece. I don't know how else to make you understand that I love you with- This guy sounds like a douche. This guy sounds like a grade A straight up douchebag. My darling Elsa, remember how I told you that I love you more than anything? Well, that was true, but what's even truer is that I'm going to love you forever. Sometimes thinking about forever makes me dizzy. Like when I start thinking about the sky and how it doesn't stop at the moon or the sun or even the Milky Way, but just keeps going and going and going. But when I think about you forever seems totally cool because it's one thing to just keep going and going by yourself, but to keep going and going and going with somebody, that's awesome. Write me back as soon as you get this. I can't wait to see you next time. Love forever. Oh. That one sounded sweet. Ish. Kind of weird. Dearest Elsa, you said in your letter that you loved me forever back, but if that's true, why'd you put off coming here to see me? When I read you weren't coming, I stopped and looked around because it felt just like someone had walked up and stabbed me through the heart. I'm starting to get real jealous of the lodge you work at. You spend way, way, way too more time there than you do with me, and I don't like it one bit. I can't help myself. I'm in, I'm so in love with you that it's getting hard to see straight, and that's the truest thing I've ever told you. Come see me next week, in all caps, with two exclamation points. Totally and completely yours, L. That seems a little bit more possessive. Not as bad as the first one, but still possessive. All right. Let's go do the maintenance cleaning stuff. Ah, what's going on? Why did it stop? Ah. That was weird. Alright, let's keep going. Quell Quell is mine. Chinook is empty. Kala Kala Kala. 
Ньом, ньом, ньом. Папа. Ньом. Ньом. У, пак. Skater Nation. While it is common knowledge in the World Championship Cross Country Skiing Competition will take place in Alberta, Canada the winter after next, exactly why in Alberta is currently the sport's best kept secret. We will be making a formal announcement next month. Unpressed, she said delay. There is no delay. We simply saw no reason to announce the venue any earlier. It is widely rumored that behind the scenes bidding by hotel and restaurant chains has held up the final decision, leading to criticism about what the event has become. More than commerce, than competition. Dorfman refuses to comment on either charge. Uh, I saw a red arrow. I didn't. Okay. I'm just blind, I guess. Yonk. Ooh, can I open your closet? I cannot open your closet. Dang it. Good. Let's finish that one. Can I open your closet? I cannot open your closet. Ooh. Call of the wild. Can you hear the call to the wild? The call to the wild. The call to the wild. We are the call, we are the call, we are the call to the wild. Painter. I see a painter. What's that? I don't know. I can't look at it though, so. Not that way, this way. Holy league. Huh. This person is incredibly neat. Bro, what the heck? <laughs> Rising star from Fredonia refuses to lose. Yanni Vokstalia. Vokstalia. That was bad pronunciation on my part. I apologize. He has won five of the last seven cross-country skiing events. And he hates to lose. If you don't come in first, what's the point? He seems generally puzzled. As a citizen, he has been skiing competitively and winning for as long as he can remember. As a child, he expected to win and always did. He was very stubborn. When he got older, he had better competition and it became more difficult to win because of stubbornness alone. So he began to accept advice and watch others to work on his technique. In that way, he was... Able to keep winning. Mandatory two-year stint. Not only sharpened his still his skills, but carrying a rifle and shooting targets while on patrol opened up for him what was a brand new sport, a biathlon. Three weeks after our leaving Army, he entered the Eastern European Biathlon Championship and won. The Army taught him at least one other valuable lesson. Knowing your enemy is the surest way to defeat him. That's why I'm snooping through your stuff, Yanni. Not only does he prepare himself physically for, for an event, but he also likes to learn as much about the people. He knows some of his competitors better than he knows himself. It makes them seem smaller, predictable, beatable. Ah, oh, Volkstalia has a rifle. We heard a gunshot that night. Hmm, coincidence? I think not. While Vokstaya was claims to be studying the competition and it affords him psychological ads and little else, some believe he studies his competitors so he can eliminate them. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Ooh, what's that? I don't know. Aha, stop that. It's being weird. There we go. Um, alright, that's done. Uh, clicky, clicky. Clicky, clicky. Haha, <laughs> I found out why you had the maintenance sign. I'm just gonna check them all just in case. Ooh, geology. Structural engineering. Yum. It's being 
weird. I don't like it. Yeah, I'll fix it later. It this must be where I dropped the laundry bag after I'm done cleaning all the rooms. Well, I'm done cleaning the rooms. In it goes. All right. Let's go back and check what I have to do again. All right. I did that. Pond maintenance. I'll check the pond. Three... Yes, essentially that. Have lunch, Tana. Breakfast, lunch. All right, I'm good for now for doing that. I'm gonna go check just in case. Usually they have some sort of um tutorial or something. So. Ooh, basement. This sounds like a basement. Oh, hey, look, it's a oh, guy. No. Is something wrong? You, you are what is wrong. <laughs> Jump out said there will be no more guests to make noise at all hours and disturb my training. Yet what stands before me? A new guest. No, no, I'm not a guest. I'm Nancy Drew, the new maid. And the new cook. Uh -huh, sure, totally not a guest. Allow me to start over. I am Yanni Voxtaya. I am here to train for the Eastern European Cross Country Championship. I spend my days doing interval work, drills, and isometric exercises. I follow a strict program, one painstakingly designed by a team of the best coaches in Fredonia. In fact, under no circumstances are you to use your key to let anyone into my room. My competitors are constantly spying on me, trying to steal my techniques. Paranoid I understand. understand. No, what you must understand is this. If anything is missing or so much as out of place in my room, you can expect a visit from me. And it will not yeah, I'm be not going to do any one. of the prompts That's right now. now. I'll we'll do the prompts again, later. I'm sure. I just want to go see <sighs> who all's here. Oh, hey, look. Found the sauna. Oh, hey. Need something? I'm just trying to get the lay of the land. Or the lay of the lodge. I mean, it's true. Case. Well, this Forget. is my workshop. I'm building something that's going to solve all our problems. A wolf trap. One that'll finish off that thing out there once and for all. No. You think the wolf is causing the accidents? Not a doubt in my mind. Everything was A-OK -okay till it showed up and started howling. It's bad luck. And something's protecting it. Something unnatural. Good. Does Ms. Mawikwe know you're doing Don't this? Need to kill she knows she doesn't hurt that thing around her guests. And you heard her. I'm supposed to do whatever I think is necessary to get rid of it. You want to destroy it just because it howls at weird times? Let me tell you something. Yesterday I went looking for it. I tracked it and finally found it, sitting across the creek, not 20 yards away from me, just staring at me. So I raised my rifle, drew a bead, and fired. Easiest shot I've ever taken in my life. And I missed. So I fired again, and I missed, and then I missed again, and again. And all the while it just sat there staring until finally it just stood up, walked over the brush just as calm as could be and disappeared. Wild Ghost. animals just don't act like that, and I just don't miss like that. There's something real weird about that wolf, and I ain't gonna rest till I get rid of it. So maybe we should just find something else to job out. You met my little girl yet? No, but you mentioned that her name is Freddy? Yep. Spends most of her time outside. She built herself a little snow fort. Just snow sits works. out there waiting for somebody to go by so she can pick a snowball fight with him. I keep asking her how she manages to stay warm all day, but she won't tell me. Says she's got a secret weapon. Yeah, she's something. I'd better get back upstairs. If you need anything, just holler. You're nice and toasty. Go that way, go that way. All right, I can't see what's on the thing. All right. This way. <laughs> That's a lock. Bone which Trapper Dan found near the lodge. He believed it came from a race of giants known as Rexes. The bone's not there. Wonder what happened to it. Bet you someone stole it. Maybe it was the wolf. Maybe the wolf was hungry. I don't know. I 
staying out of there until I have to fix a meal. Fine. Ooh. Top story. Four people were forced to check out early from the Icicle Creek Lodge after becoming violently ill. Edmund Farringdale, 41, his wife, Ginny, 38, and their nine-year-old daughter, Sue, of Westwood, New Jersey, and Betsy Stills, 58, of Calgary, Alberta, were admitted to Pinevale Hospital early yesterday morning with suspected food poisoning. Lab tests performed on food samples removed from the lodge confirmed the presence of salmonella bacteria in the potato salad, which all four had consumed. They are expected to make a full recovery. The owner of the lodge, Chantal Moique, was at a loss to explain how the potato salad became contaminated. The same ingredients used to make the potato salad were used in other dishes without any of the other guests becoming sick, she said. Moreover, Becky assured me that the potato salad was never left sitting at room temperature, and she should know she was my cook. None of the four victims, including Stills, plan to return to the lodge upon their release from the hospital. If you ask me, the lodge is jinxed, Stills said. Miss Moique better give up trying to turn the lodge into some kind of hoity-toity spa while she still can. First the wolf, now this. I'm leaving, and she should too. Stills was referring to the lone wolf, which has been spotted several times within the past week in the Icicle Creek drainage. Because ranchers in the area have reported no increase in livestock predation, authorities are urging hunters not to go after the wolf, contending they would pose a greater danger to visitors if the back country, of, to the backcountry than the wolf does. Wow. I just tried reading that when it was like this. Why did I do that? Because I'm an idiot. Oh, hey, people. I'm going to do that later. I'm not gonna bother with that. Whoop. 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 Bear. Whoop. Bear. What can I do on the computer? Checklist. Made duties. Did that. Oh, hey. It's a digital version, so I don't have to keep going to my room every time I get confused and I need to actually do a thing. Ooh. Birds. Bird, bird, bird. Owls? Owls? Owls! I love owls. Snowy owl. Great horned owl. Boreal owl. Well, there's no barn owls, though. Fish. Oh, I have a feeling that's gonna be needed later. Alright. Guest register. Um. Chinook. Derek Southwaite. Quebec. Faringdale, Jenkins, Carl. Ooh, what's this? Safe to go outside. Caution, there's a chance of hypothermia. Danger, high risk. Very high risk for hypothermia within seconds if it's red. I can feel, I feel. 545, 4878. Okay. All right. Well, we started this game. We got a little bit far. I think we're just going to save it for now, and we'll keep going later. Save the rest for episode two. Make this a series, I guess. All right, this is Shirisei signing off for now. Have a nice day, afternoon, night, whatever it is where you are, and see you later.